Well. So yeah, I've got my I got my five companions with me that we will use for this quest. Oh, it's nice. Excuse me, sorry. Okay. Now we save on uh the save M1. Boom. Overwrite. Yes, you have something. I'm ready to go now. Excellent. The ship awaits. Good luck to you. I hope we all find what we are looking for. Awaken, child. It is time for another test. Oh, please. I can't take this. Patience, Imowen. Soon it will all end. No! Don't do this! Oh, no, I want to die! Silence, dog. You have no purpose but to die by my hand. Incactus Fulca Imperium. You are nearly ready for her, Imowen. She will be pleased. This shall be your ship to the island. The bulk of your gold purchased your passage, as well as the silence of the crew. Okay. Though a silence more symbolic than anything, as you may well find my men a boisterous lot at all hours. I encourage general weapon. The personal habits of your crew are your business, Captain. Just as long as they perform as they should, and deliver my people in good time. Never a fear nor worry should cross your thoughts this eve, my lord. I have traveled this sea a good many times, and I shall see no trouble. Hello, pretty love. Then let us proceed to introductions. Zircon, this is Captain Saman. And Saman Havarian. He and his ship will... Mr. Havarian, what is your ship called? Ah, the name charge. Mm, name changes. Change it. And the, the name changes as do the winds, mainly as I never seem to have fixed the plate with the proper resign. Mm, she is the gallant for now until whim takes me elsewhere. As for the voyage, heed my words, Sarkon, as they are dangerous to the sea you may not be aware of. I'm all ears, Captain. Yours is the voice of experience, and I will listen. Sudden squall or hidden reef could prove deadly to the unwary, though we are more likely to encounter pirates of ill repute. That is why I have included some protection for this war. Protection? I was not aware of any such plans. The Captain should be consulted on such, on such matters. Certainly, I'm providing an extra crew member, one that will attempt to improve the overall safety of the voyage. This is Sim, and she will be staying very close to you, Sam and Haverian, for your safety. Of course. I shall... I shall make certain that should we be surprised at sea, death will not come from a surprise source. Do I make myself clear? As clear as clear could be, my lady, though I am not sure I approve of your tone, I assure you. I assure you nothing untoward, untoward will happen during our crossing. Them shall also advise you, Zircon. She is acquainted with a few of the inhabitants of the island. They are fully staffed and ready to sail. Best, uh, best that we get underway as soon as possible. Disembark, my lord, and we shall have uh, we shall away. Hold fast. The journey begins. Aaron Linvale has proven trustworthy. You are soon under sail with the flamboyant Samon Haverian at the helm. 
the journey is uneventful. And if there were other ships on the same course, they must have kept a discreet distance. You make good time, and soon there is a sizable island on the horizon. It might have been considered a pleasant place, but a grim shadow extends the length of it. The asylum, Spellhold, looms from a cliffside. Cheers, everybody. We have arrived, and in good time, I might add. Congratulatory remarks for all the crew, and to our visitors for their delightful company. A particular... Uh, party. Particular congratulations to you, Captain. It was fortunate you distracted those other ships we saw in the distance. Your signals in the night, were they some type of warning? Yes, well, I thought they might be up pirates, so I merely displayed a series of lights that mirrored their own. I wish to appear as though I were one of their own. Again, my compliment. It did seem it did seem that they truly believed your signal meant they were be, and there would be trouble if they attacked. It merely proves how short of wit they can be. One must always be a step ahead of their adventures. I am not liking this one. This sounds sketchy. Regardless, we have arrived. I leave you to your mission, whatever it may be. It has been a pleasure sailing in your company, but now I take my leave. Mm -hmm. I do not trust this pirate, Zircon. His manner is that of a fool, but his behavior during the voyage betrays a cunning mind beneath. He has delivered us as promised. There are more important things to worry about. Hmm. She does have a but she does have a point. Uh yeah. Agreed. Be prepared this place is dangerous enough even without my suspicions of uh, safety. Our actions are good and we'll will serve the greater balance. When will we return to the graveyard district? Elle is going to start wondering what I'm up to, and the last thing I want to do is attract attention. If that's, if that's the case, you should rid yourself of that tattered rag or cloak. It stinks of the crypt. Also, you'll want to start wearing a mask. You're a striking woman, Hexad. There's no getting away from it. Do what we agreed to do. Okay, I thought it was like, oh dear. I fear I cannot allow you to leave my presence just yet. While I must admit to a certain fondness for you all, I have little choice in what I must do. I do not like the tone of yours. What do you intend? My apologies, as I said. This was not my intention at all, but one must do what good business dictates. You're, you will recognize those that face you now. I do hope they make short work of this encounter. I have no tolerance for violence, really. All good peoples hang their head in shame. We are betrayed. The sailor man brings the vampires back amongst us. There shall be a mighty reckoning for this. Go for the eyes! Go for the eyes! Oh, well, son of a biscuit. I knew he would prove treacherous. Our threats were sufficient to keep us safe while afloat, but there must be someone here that he fears even more. These are the same creatures we fought when we entered the lair of the vampire that was aligned against your own guild. Bodai must be nearby indeed. Certainly this was Bodai's doing. These creatures would not have followed Saman of their own will. His weakness would disgust them. Unfortunately, he fled the battle. I shall be sure to pay him if I see him again. 
Unfortunately, he fell at the battle. I shall be sure to repay him if I see him again. There are more important things to worry about right now, anyway. I must see that you are able to enter the asylum. Go to the, uh, go to the tavern and speak with a man named Sanic. If there is a way into the asylum, he will know it. I will scout around a bit and meet you at the pass leading to the asylum itself. Work with haste, Zircon. Our enemies know we are here. Well, that's all freaking dandy. Yep. Nobody got level drain, right? that guy these are death this is one of my wakazashis oh the wisdom That's not what we're looking for. Who are you? Excuse me, sir. I didn't mean to bump into you. Hold it, son. Why have you taken my money from me? I'm sorry, sir. I gotta do it, or he'll hit me again. Explain yourself, boy. Who will hit you if you don't steal my money? I can't say, sir. I don't want to die. I gotta go. Pirate Lord's home. Oh, well, welcome to... Alright. I'm starting to get into a little bit of a predicament with Haxus. Hexat. That, because, uh, well... We, I, uh, a Temple of Umberly. The Vulgar Monk. Sounds interesting. It must be done. Give me some. It's probably. All right, listen, Fifi. I may be an intelligent sword, but I've had no formal education. You point where Minsk goes. Even stand. I had a keg of rum. I'm waiting. <laughs> Not a concern. Oh, there's Sanic. Nothing like something to I'm sure. I've been told that you, that you might be able to give me some information that I require. That depends on what it is. You trade with the asylum. They'll hold, I supply them with their t basic needs, such as food and spell components, some sort of... If he is not a word I like, it is merely a misunderstanding with the local guildmasters. My new wife and I shall take an extended 
trip un until things settle. What the? Someone behind me. Yes. What treachery is this? Who are you? Hello, Sanic. Lady Galvana sends her written greeting. She dislikes being crossed. You, the girl is, the girl is free, and you have no claim on her. Leave us be. Free? Hardly. The lady will not brook her property being stolen. She'll pay for your theft. Hmm, speak now to my Claire as if she is an object. She is no longer Glevana's lackey. She is my love, and she is free of free of your foul touch. <laughs> a romantic? Perhaps your death will serve some uh, serve some bard well. You, being friends of Gollum, and your enemies to die fools. Uh, oh boy, hold on. I think I need a. You really need to clean me. I guess it's worth it. Welcome, then. There will put me a vacancy here in town if I intend to leave at the earliest opportunity. Uh, provide me information. Which then to your son enter the asylum. Uh, perhaps so, if the need is true. Oh. Okay, well, it's like it's gonna happen anyway. Whatever. Well, that's quite unfortunate. And keep. You seem to know something of this. Why is this man being killed? Oh, uh, uh I mean, by Amberly Street, who doesn't often think he, she is assassination of the vulgar monkey, that uppity wench. Uh, and keep. Huh? What do you care? You've only just met him. That is my business. Who was the assassin? Why did he perform this foul deed? Uh, tell me what you know. I, if only to teach the woman to keep her affairs out of my tavern, I will tell you what I know. The assassin was sent by a Lady Galvena, the mistress of the local courtesan guild. Hmm, you can see how, in a port full of sailors, such an undertaking would bring the woman power and wealth. Uh, so much is obvious, what a disagreement does she have with Sanic? Fennec the Fool fell in love with one of Galvin's girls, Claire, and she was mm, she with him. He took her from the guild house and proclaimed her his wife. Galvin is a harsh woman. She considers the courtesans her property. She accused Sandic of theft, and he scorned her in public. The whole town knows of it. This, then, was Galvin's reply. I suspect that, that the girl, Claire, suffers even as we speak. And truly an injustice has been performed. What, where is this girl, Claire? Mm, the guild house has a... Mm, the guild has a house on the west side of Renlaw. Customers who pay well can conduct their business in a bedroom with the guild house. I suspect that Galvana has already taken the girl there to be punished. Is this place guarded? How, will, how would I enter? You could get in as everyone else does, as, as a paying customer. Galvana keeps both male and female courtesans for either taste. Failing that, you would have to kill several well-trained guards. I also hear that Galvana keeps a pet wizard. Either either way is foolish, in my opinion. Is there anyone else that could tell me how to get into the Spellhold Asylum? If you're sure that Senek knew how, then perhaps he told his young bride. I don't see how you can ask her, though. Thank you for your assistance. I shall leave. Well, that's a... That's unfortunate. Bad day. Give me some direction. Bad, bad day. Okay, I do need a... 
test. I do need to test something. I'm going to, uh... I need to see if Hexat is going to leave as soon as we're done resting. Which means... No? Okay. You really need to clean the like I like to shine. <laughs> okay. I hope this is worth it. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Okay, getting inside the asylum. Uh, Volker told me about uh, the standing guild, Lady Hannah, the mistress of the local Carson's Guild, and a woman of power and wealth in Brynlaw. Yeah, I'll see to okay. it. Okay. Where would this place be? Maybe on this side. Maybe. All right, you and me. Let's go. All right, you and me. All right, you and me. Let's go. Hold still. Boom. Critical miss. Ugh. Rude. Pretty sure it'll end up being. I'm a fine looking strumpet, hang tie. Please, sir, do you have any money to spare? I, I can't go back to the guild until I have something. Why don't you find a. I ain't. Why is it that you worry about returning home empty handed? You seem like a good person, sir. I will tell you if you promise not to tell Kremi. Uh, of course. I wouldn't want to get you in trouble. I should begin with my name, Jinya. I grew up here in Brynlaw. My father was a, ta uh, ta a tailor until he was killed and my mother is long dead. My, mo my lord, things have not always been like this. Brynlaw was once a pleasant town, though my memories may be influenced by happier times in my own life. Go on. Regardless, life was hard, but it was uh, but it had its pleasures. We lived in fish, eh, on fish and our produce. The asylum offered employment to many of us. Then, then the pirates arrived, led by the despot Desharic. Desharic had lost a war with another pirate king forced to this land. His ships invaded the town. They took our homes. Desharic killed our mayor and dumped his body into the sea. We were forced out onto the streets. Victor Creed Twitch. Thank you for the follow, man. Oh, no, the raid. Sorry. I'm always getting those mixed up. Thank you, Vic mm, Victor Creed. How y'all doing? Welcome, everybody. My name is Zircon. I am a variety streamer. I stream every day, uh, starting at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. Today, we're in. now we're working on Boulder's Gate 2. Now, everybody who came into the raid, how are you all doing today? And once again, Victor, thank you for the raid, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all of you. Awesome. Okay, uh, where was I at? Uh, we be, uh, we begged the asylum to offer us shelter, but the wizards within locked the doors against us. My father could take no more injustice. We begged the asylum... Okay. All right, well... And, and by the way, cheers, everybody. All right. He tried to get... Uh, uh, he tried to get back into our house and was executed for breaking the law of the pirates. Once they've stolen something, the a the owner has no claim on it. That's rude. This looks suspiciously like Bryn, um, Bryn Law. You're absolutely right. How you doing, Victor? And uh, Desharki said that we we'd have to pay. Pay for our father's crime. He gave us to Kremi, his lieutenant, as a reward for service. Ugh. He put me to work as a courtesan for the drunken pirates. It's horrible, sir. He says that he'll kill my brother, Aysen, if I don't do it. Oh, right. Worry not, girl. Only point the way, and Kremi 
shall worry you no more. Excuse me. What's the point, sir? If Kremi dies, you will only get in trouble, and Asherik will just give us to someone else, or kill us. I can handle the trouble, girl. Perhaps I could help you escape as well. Do you have any exit at all? At all? There is no escape from Asa and me. There is a smuggler who will take us, but we cannot afford to pay him. There is nowhere to run on this island. Where is this smuggler? I will pay for you and your brother's passage. I will also ensure that Krimi never bothers you again. Hmm. Yeah, doing good. Just, uh, RQ tyranny, because I discovered an amazing ability that, but it bugs whenever I have to reload and unbugging it requires to respect. Wow. That is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. All right. Boom. And Kremi can be found near the end. The smuggler's name is Kalahan. He will be near the docks. Thank you for your offer, but please be careful. <laughs> the Larkor, calm down, buddy. <laughs> I love the sword. So, uh, last stream, we recently picked up a sword. A talking sword, Lilarko. I get, and Minsk is currently using them right now, and it feels like they are a great pair. Minsk is an idiot. Lilarko is an idiot. And they can just be idiots together. Okay, Lilarko is the sword, by the way. And uh, I'd say I have to say both of my favorite characters. <laughs> okay. A is home. Pirate Lord's home. Is that where I need to go? Pirate Lord's home? Uh, Krami holds a brother. I saw impossible. Come on. He is near the docks. I will deal with Krami too. He is near the inn. Uh, take him to the vent. He is near the docks. Okay. Maybe I missed him. On the docks or? Oh man. He wasn't too happy. Hey. You you'll pay, you will, I'll see it I'll see to it. I stand by me clans upon a pox on your father's father if you think otherwise. I've never been so insulted in all my born days. You you, sir, are a rotter. Mm, stow it in your after bell stop. Gentlemen, if you please, I have three other duels to earn today, and I haven't time for particulars of speech. Oh, a duel coordinator. Quite all right from my standpoint. His commentary on my lineage demands blood. And this constant blathering demands me boot in his <laughs> back set. I'll do it for that. Right straight, I will. And then bring your weapons to bear, gentlemen. I will duel. I will duly record the outcome and prevent any investigation of improperty. Huh? He means he'll make sure I don't get in trouble for killing your sorry imposture. That's the last I hear from your pompous tongue, I swear. Hey. Okay. Culture will defeat you loudest boots each and every time. Well sported, sir. I shall have a shark of praise for the, uh, of the result. You point where Minsk goes. Evil stands aside. Uh, find AD. Uh, I might be up for that. What do you have in mind? <laughs> I could take you up to the chambers in the guild house, sir, and show you the skill that makes me uh, makes me in such demand for just a small fee, if you don't mind. What kind of small fee are we talking about? Well, uh, I I I be a girl, and no means a no means no means skill. If you know what I mean for a hundred gold, fine. Here's a hundred gold. This is science, by the way, chat. 
I could no I sh could show you a pleasant time. Follow me then. Hey, sexy. Do you want to take a look at me, Diddies? All right, I'm going to take a look around the building. Not a word out of you. What? You can't leave me, Rune, sir. One step out of the door, and I'll catch. I'll call the guards on you. Here, how about a hundred gold pieces? Will that shut you up? Yeah, for a hundred gold, I'll just go and uh, fall asleep. So to speak, I have no idea what you're planning about to do. The mm -hmm, plan to do about the guard, sir, but. That's your business. Off you go. Okay, so that was actually exactly what we were supposed to do. I swim in memories in such a place Unfair. as this. Declare yourself. Most unpleasant memories. Who do you think you are walking about the lady's place as if you own it? I am just a customer. We'll get back to your room. You're not to wander the house without an escort. Go. Declare yourself. What the hell are you doing? Captured <laughs> intruders. I guess this works. Are good. Okay, we'll so not. The greater balance. there. How about in here? Locked. Hmm. Uh, heck, that. Could you help us out here, Very girl? Good. Yeah, hey, not a concern. Oh. Our actions are good, and we'll serve the greater balance. What's your tale? How did you hear it? Guards, hey, help us. This is worth it. Surface dwellers can be so yeah, stupid. I'll see to it. Oh, that's downstairs. What is it? I hope this is worth it. Okay, well. I no longer know what the hell I'm doing. Yeah, I'll see to it. Hey, sexy. Do you want to take a Fine. look at me? Now tell me where I can find Claire. Claire, is that what this is all about? Hmm. Well, I don't know how you plan on to pass the guard, but I have no objection to mm, me trying to help uh, help the poor lass. Claire should be in the cell at the end of the hall. The guards won't let you in there, and I have no idea where. Uh, where the key might be up with Miss Galvena. Ugh. That's unfortunate. But anyways, Hydra Bot Lady and Gentleman has spoken, so, uh, here. If you're planning on shedding blood, though, you'll, you'll excuse me if I hide under the bed and pray your skills, miss, pray your skills, miss, pray your kills, miss Galvena, while you're at it. Good luck. Okay, it looks like we wait, didn't I what? It's done. I'm there. This is slightly confusing. If it must be done. 